What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Montoya. All right, so today I'm going to be giving you all the details about my two piece that I made, a crop top and a maxi skirt. When I pair them together, they look like a dress, but they are actually separate. So here's a breakdown of all the details that you are about to get in this video. First is some close up video footage, followed by details on fabric, pattern, tutorials used and sizing. After that, we'll jump into modifications, inside look, any mistakes, troubleshooting, and my why. Girl, where you going in that? Lastly, I will give you some full body video footage. Okay, so for this look, I used Ankara fabric, which is 100% cotton. So I bought this fabric on Etsy from a shop called K Textile 19. Um, they are based in London. So when I first, you know, wanted to purchase this fabric, I put it in my car and I was always oh, juiced. I was ready to check out. And then that shipping, I'm like, how much? how much do you want for shipping and i'm like oh, i don't i don't know if i could do this i don't know if i can swing this price i mean this shipping is just it's a lot you know and i know people have a business to run so i'm not mad at businesses you know when it comes to their shipping they you know they need to collect their coins too uh so i just started searching for this fabric you know i'm like a u.s seller has to have this so i'm searching i'm searching i'm searching did not find it y'all like I looked high and low still couldn't find the fabric nobody selling you know like I, I couldn't find anybody selling this fabric so uh you know I started reading more about the shipping and then uh the seller said that you know if you are purchasing more than three yards that the shipping might be kind of high so message them so that they can give you a um a discount so I did I messaged them and let them know that I wanted six yards of uh, two different types of fabric so they end up sending me a coupon code and after the coupon code it did bring the price down and that helped me to I think overall like I, I like to put the shipping cost into the total of um, you know how much per yard so after calculating all that it was about nine dollars and fifty cent a yard so I'm like okay cool like I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my cart and check out because I could not find this fabric anywhere else. When creating each piece, I used one yard for the top and I used three yards for the skirt. So for the top, I hacked Simplicity 1112. I have a tutorial on my channel for this particular top, um, you know, showing how I hacked it. The only difference this time around is I made it a flat front and elastic back. And in the video, it's actually elastic all the way around. If I could go back, I would just do elastic all the way around. I don't know who I thought I was, but uh, trying to put on that flat front elastic back top it was a struggle, you know, just trying to, and you know, I got broad shoulders, so trying to get my shoulders in there. Was like girl mm -mm. now you know you should have just left it as all elastic stop trying to match it with your skirt okay but you know it is what it is I can still finesse my way up in that shirt and uh, you know it's all good Now for the skirt, I use my Toya skirt tutorial, which is a flat front elastic back. Now that is the flat front elastic back that I can get into no problem. You know, whether I gain an inch or two in my waist, the skirt is still going to fit and I won't be struggling to put it on like I was struggling to put on my shirt. For the sizing, so for my top, I cut out a size 12 in order to create this shirt. Now the finished bust measurement 
measurement is 40 and that's about three inches of ease for me in the bust uh, so from the previous time that I made this top the first time around my bust was a 35 so two inches smaller um, so that gave me about five inches of ease both to me feel um, I feel great with the ease around the bust so five inches or three inches um, to me they both are great so you know if you're your bust you know you know will get enlarge over the over time over the years uh the top will still look good in my opinion so uh yeah now for my skirt uh it's self-drafted to my measurements now the skirt block that i use my skirt pattern that i used um it was when my waist was about an inch or two smaller but i still just use the same pattern that is the beauty of having a flat front elastic back that even if my waistline grows a little bit i could still use my same pattern it'll still fit nicely and uh, i won't have any problems all right so another modification uh, from my original hack is the length of the bodice so i lengthened about three inches of the pattern and then this waistband is one inch so a total of four inches longer than my original hack so when thinking about styling this look, I just kept it all the way uh, simple. I love large hoop earrings. That's my favorite thing um, to wear. Okay. All right, next on to some mistakes and some troubleshooting. You know, you look at this outfit and you're like, wow, this is so beautiful. I, you know, I've get, been getting all these compliments on this outfit. But let me tell you, the original top, it was a hot mess. You know, I wasted about half a yard of this fabric just trying to do another top. I started this project last year. I cut out a different top and I cut out the skirt. I was going to wear it for my 30th birthday to Cabo. I was like, yeah, I'm about to step out on the beach. Like, this is my, I'm about to have dinner on the beach for my birthday. I'm gonna be so cute. No, this original top, no. It, it was supposed to have the back out. You know, it's gonna lace in the back. But the darts, I don't know, like it had darts in the front, like front dart, bus dart, and you know, the bus darts. And when those darts, it just, it wasn't fitting, okay? It was a fitting disaster. It was horrible. It was ugly. I just, no, you know, and, and I can take like small imperfections, you know, because each and every one of my garments, you know, to everyone they're like oh that that looks good but they all have some type of flaw whether it be you know the serger thread is off or you know i cut into i clipped too far in or something there's always some minor mistake and or a large mistake in my garments never fails but i just couldn't get past the way the fit was it, it just you know so that's just my area of growth i want to say i blame it on the pattern but you know it was me also i didn't have the patience really to want to I actually did I tried to go back and salvage it but it just was not it wasn't working but ultimately I am glad that I was able to step away for a year and come back I love how I now have it as separate because now I can wear the skirt to work um you know without the top because you know I can't have my shoulders showing at work so um you know just being able to have them as separates and that has come from me seeing overdrive after 30 on instagram how she makes her separates all the time mixing and matching her separates i'm like oh you know what i don't need to commit to a full dress i can keep this as separates so that's what i did all right for the insides i finished off the raw edges with my serger and then for the armhole, I did create my own bias tape. And I did the same for my skirt. I uh, finished off the raw edges using my serger. Oh, I think I had ran out of black serger thread. And so I just put a white uh, cone of thread on there. But um, yeah, this is the inside. I also did a one and a half inch him on my skirt so even though I messed up half a yard of the fabric I still have two yards left thankfully and I'm not sure what I'm going to make I think I want to make a cropped jacket but that won't be for a while so 
All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to conclude this video with some final clips of me rocking my two piece, my crop top, and my skirt that looks like a dress. Enjoy the footage, and I will see you in my next video.